Folks, it's good to have you with us today. I'm just up in the attic here and I came across this old leather school bag. I still remember in the summer of 1982, getting ready to start primary school. I'd just turned four in the June, starting school in the September, filled with fear and trepidation. I remember getting this old leather satchel out of the Smith Patterson shop in Lisburn and getting my uniform and a little school cap at that time as well. And it brings back a lot of memories seeing this old leather school satchel. It's made out of genuine leather. I'm sure even back then it was probably a good quality item. It stood the test of the years. You used to keep your pencil case in here, your lunchbox, your little flask, which used to often leak sometimes. And the water would drip down through, the juice would drip down through the bag and all of your school books inside. It brings back a lot of memories, a lot of good memories, friends that you had back in those days. A lot of bad memories as well. Some teachers probably all left this scene of time now, but some of them were very, very cross. And there's many a time in primary school that I went uh, to school in the mornings with anxiety and fear. And this little school bag, this old satchel, brings back a lot of memories of those days. But you know, I couldn't wait for the day whenever I would leave school. Couldn't wait for the day whenever the bell would ring for the last time and I'd be out and I'd be free and the world would be my oyster and I'd never have to sit another exam or do another homework. I hated exams and I always just longed for the day whenever I wouldn't have to use this little bag anymore. And of course, those days have come and gone a long, long time ago. 41 years ago, we got this little school satchel and those days are long gone. They're long behind us and time goes by so quickly. But you know, the word of God speaks a little bit about school. In the book of Galatians and chapter three, the Bible says that the law, the law of God was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. And I can still remember that old schoolmaster we had all of those years ago. Even back then, he looked like he was about 80 or 90 years of age. And I'm sure he's long departed this scene of time. But I'm going to be honest, he scared the life out of me right from primary one to primary seven, which was his last year of teaching. He must have been teaching school from the 1940s right through to the 1980s. And he'd gone well beyond his years of retirement. And I tell you, he was unbending and he didn't take any prisoners. And there's many a time I got in trouble with him, had to be sent down to his office, stood outside the classroom door. Many a time I got a crack around the back of the head or kept in at lunchtime and given extra work to do. He was harsh and he was the old schoolmaster. Still remember the throw over, the comb over hairdo and uh, the old tweed suit that he wore and the little half moon glasses that sat on the end of his nose. And he was stern. But the Bible says the law is our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. And the law of God is summarized, that is the moral law of God, is summarized in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus chapter 20, where we are introduced to the Ten Commandments. And those Ten Commandments show us the character and the demands of God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thyself a graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And those first four commandments are God word. And then the rest of the commandments, although they have reference to God, they're mostly man word. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Honour thy father and thy mother. And so they go on. And they show us the standard that God requires of humanity. And the reality is today that every single one of us have broken in thought, word or deed the law of God. And the law is our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. The law shows us our sin. The Bible says by the law is the knowledge of sin. The scripture says that sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is whenever we break God's law Sin is whenever we deviate from God's standard. Isaiah 53 says, All we like sheep have gone astray. And not only have we broken the Ten Commandments in thought, word, and deed, but we have deviated from them. And even if we try to keep them to the best of our ability, we still fall short of the glory of God. There's none righteous. No, not one. None of us can keep the law of God perfectly, entirely, 
all of the time. We are transgressors. We are guilty whenever we look at the law of God. But the law is our schoolmaster. It teaches us the need for a saviour. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. The moral law shows us that we need a saviour. And then in Israel, there was also the ceremonial law. The sacrifices, the ordinances, the tabernacle, the temple, the priesthood. And all of those things pointed us to the work of Jesus Christ our Lord. And so the law is a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. It shows us our need of him. And it shows us that God demands payment for sin. And beloved, on that cruel cross 2,000 years ago, the Son of God died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And the penalty of the law has been fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ whenever he laid down his life as an atoning sacrifice for his people. All of us today, born into this world, were born under that old, harsh, unbending schoolmaster. And we have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God is not willing that any should perish and be lost. He sent the Son to be a saviour. He went to that cross to pay the price for our sins. I trust today that as you think about where you stand before God, maybe today you know that you're a sinner. Maybe you're even ignorant of that fact that someday you're going to stand before God and you need a saviour, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. And I praise God for that time in my life's experience, whenever he opened my heart and showed me the love of God and the sufficiency of his son to save me. And I came simply in childlike faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the word of God goes on there in Galatians chapter 3 to say that after that faith is come, you're no longer under a schoolmaster. I'm no longer under the condemnation of the law because Jesus Christ has paid the price for me. Praise God, we're no longer condemned if we're in Christ. We walk in newness of life and we seek to honour and obey and please him. But not out of a slavish, guilty fear, but out of love and out of gratitude, knowing that he's a complete saviour for complete sinners and he saves complete sinners completely. The old schoolmaster. May God bless you and encourage you today and join us again next time. Trust Christ as your saviour and enter into newness of life and be ready for the great eternity for heaven and for home. Thank you so much for listening.